Good morning. I'm Miss Bauer. I'm the fourth grade teacher here at Donahoe Elementary. And I'm Mrs. Jaswick, the ESL teacher. And we are so happy to have you here this morning for one of our awesome science lessons. So thank you for joining our classroom family today. Alrighty, friends. So to get us started, just a couple rules. We know that our talking is going to be a zero when we need those really good listening ears. I will need your help though. And when I need your help, if it's talking to a partner or if you see this magical motion right here, you are gonna give me that level two answering my questions. Your effort is going to be taking notes towards the end of today's lesson. But first, I'm gonna need a lot of volunteers, okay? So I need to make sure we have those listening ears. Not yet, I'll let you know when I need you. Alrighty, you are asking, volunteering, or answering your questions with this magical motion right here. Your arm raised, nice and high and proud, and your movement is going to be gently in and out of your seat, because like I said, we've got big things planned for you today. Alrighty, so what is planned today for science? Well, we have been slowly moving into our solar systems unit, but first, it's really early. I wanna get our wheels rocking and rolling and turning, and let's talk about our Earth moon and sun before we slide into the solar systems. So go ahead and repeat that with me. Earth, moon, and sun. Earth, moon, and sun. Awesome, so that's what I want you to focus on right now and we'll get into those different characteristics of the different planets towards the end. So I do have one of our silly pictures for a notice and wonder real quick. Helena. Oh, it does, it does kind of give you a little bit more desert vibes instead of outer space vibes, huh? Go ahead. Are those other planets in the back? Oh, that's a good question. It is looking like we have other planets in the background. Go ahead, ma'am. Oh, why do it have hands and feet? Why does it have hands and feet, right? That's not one of our Earth characteristics. Go ahead, Chase. Uh, so, so it's like the moon in the background. Ooh. It's like only one moon. Oh, I do. I see some planets. Maybe that is our moon. And right here, what does everyone think maybe this could be? Could be our sun, that big bright ball, right? Does anybody think we could relate this picture to the different characteristics of the planet, looking at their shape, their size, shape, right, and their color a little bit? Go ahead, Helena. Oh, yeah, they do look similar, huh? So we will see some... Wait, Could be. We will see some features in outer space that look similar, and we will see some that look very unique and very different. We'll get into that a little bit later. We're going to keep our brains in that warm-up mode with just a little bit of what do we know about Earth, Moon, and Sun. So I do need my brave speakers. What are some things that we know about Earth, Moon, and Sun? Good catch, CJ. The Love it. We see those tides change every six hours. I love how specific you were, and that is causing those tides from the gravitational pull. Very nice job. Go ahead, Dayari. The moon has different phases. The moon has different phases. I love it, and we're going to get into that later. Go ahead. I love it. Kiss your brain. Earth is the only planet that has life on it. That's a unique characteristic for Earth. I'm going to take one more. I love it. Kiss your brain. Very nice job, my friends who are brave enough to volunteer. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Yes, you are right on, Dayari, with those, or Alexandra, with those sizes. So very nice job picking up that the sun is our biggest, the earth is our second biggest, and the moon is our what, everybody? Smallest. Smallest. Very nice job. And I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Joswick to go over some really important hand signals with you guys and some key vocabulary words for our unit. All right, so one of those words is revolution. Say revolution. Revolution. All right, and we are going to practice our motion from a revolution. So can we quietly stand up? So for revolution, we are using our hands. Show me revolution. Good. All right, and my next word we've got rotation. Say rotation. Rotation. And show me quietly how to rotate. What is a rotation? Very nice. Very nice. And my last one, my last vocabulary word, we have axis. Show me an axis. 
I love it. I love it. Keep practicing those as we go through the lesson. Think about those motions and it'll help you get it stuck in your brain, okay? I am looking for three brave volunteers. Hmm, Summer? Summer, you are going to be our son, okay? Hmm, let's see here. Could I have Renesia? You are going to be Earth. And I would like Dayari to come up here to be our moon. All righty, Ms. Dayari, I'm going to have you come off to the side for just a little bit. And I'm going to throw you in later, okay? But I'm going to keep you here. So we know that all of our planets do what around our sun? Revolve. Very good job. I see some of you doing those hand motions. It's going to help you get it stuck in your head. So I'm going to have Miss Renesia. I'm going to have you scoot up a little bit, Summer. There we go. And Miss Renesia, you're going to go ahead and start revolving around our sun. Go ahead. There you go. Okay, she is revolving around her sun, but she has one more really hard and complicated task to do. Everybody, what else is Earth doing as it's revolving around the sun? It is also what? Rotating. Rotating. Can I see you try to rotate and revolve? Ooh, very nice job. I'm gonna stop you there so you don't get too dizzy on me. And now it's kind of like a gravitational juggling act. I'm gonna throw in our moon, and our moon is going to do what around our Earth? Revolve, good. So now we're going to see if our talented friends up here can have our moon revolve around Earth while our Earth is revolving around the sun. Let's see. Go ahead, Dayari. You're going to start revolving around Miss Renesia. Make sure you've got enough space. And Miss Renesia, you can start slowly revolving around Earth. Let, let your moon catch up. Let your moon catch up. Here, go around Renesia. There you go. Go around Renesia. Make sure your moon is revolving around you. All righty. I'm going to stop you here. Very brave friends. Go ahead and give them a round of applause. My Earth, Moon, and Sun, go ahead and take a bow for me. All righty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it is hard stuff, isn't it, my friends who were just up here, to revolve and to rotate. The Earth has a really hard job, doesn't it? So I promise I would not just make those three dizzy, but I'm going to make all of you dizzy. Can I have you? Stand up and push your chairs in, please. Make sure your chair is pushed all the way in so that nobody trips, OK? And I'm going to let Mrs. Joswick take it away with some Simon Says for our rotating and revolving. All right, we're going to start easy. Simon Says, rotate. Stand up for me and push your chair, please. Simon Says, stop. Simon says, show me access. Simon says, revolve. Oh, nice. Remember, your desk is the sun, so you should be revolving around your desk. Good. Simon says, stop. Touch your toes. Oh, good listening ears. All right, Simon says, rotate. Revolve. It's revolve. And stop. Ooh, did Simon say stop? <laughs> 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 yeah. Alrighty, friends. Simon says, go ahead back to your seat and show me access as you get back in your seat. Very good job. Alrighty. I see you have that tilt. Very nice job. Okay, I'm going to let you guys take a second because you might be a little dizzy before I have you get back up again, okay? So while you are sitting there making sure that you are no longer dizzy and you are all good to go, I want to talk about how long it takes Earth to make a full rotation. Listen to that keyword, rotation. How many hours does it take for Earth to make a rotation? Camille. Mm. What's that key? Mm -hmm, that key word, rotation, is causing our what? Daylight. Day and night. Good. And we're talking about 24 hours. So now I'm going to have all of you go ahead and stand back up. I told you I was only giving you a second. Push that chair back in. Okay. And I have a little important math question, real quick. 
What is half of 24? CJ, 12. Good. Keep that in your head, okay? So if I turn the lights off, will it affect anything? Okay, awesome. So I'm going to take our flashlight, which is representing everybody the what? Sun. The sun. Good. And I'm going to shine it. Yes, you can hit the lights for me. Thank you. I'm going to shine it up because remember, I don't want it to go in anybody's eyes. Just like if you were outside, you would not look at the sun because that's not good for your eyes. So my sunlight is shining up like this. And if you are all facing me, you are experiencing day or night? Not day. Day, good. You are planet Earth right now. You're experiencing day because you are facing my sunlight. Now, what if you start to rotate for 12 hours? Where are you going to be in your rotation? 12 hours later. Day. Oh, oh, hold it, hold it. Uh -huh. You're showing me with your body. Where are you going to be in your rotation 12 hours later? Turned around. Alrighty, I should see the backs of your head because you have turned halfway around, which means it is what? You are experiencing day or night? Night. Nighttime. Now I'm going to let you finish your full rotation. Come back all the way to me for a whole 24-hour rotation. Very nice job. All righty, pat yourself on the back. Okay, I need two more brave volunteers. Bentley, come here, love. You have a very important job. You are going to be our son, okay? So you got to be careful because we're not going to shine this in anyone's eyes, and I'll let you know when to turn it off. That, that's just the covering on it. Can I have hmm, Camille? I need you to be our Earth. So you just went over that one rotation takes how many hours? How many? Good, loud and proud for me. We haven't talked about how long it takes for a full revolution. So Camille, could you hold our nice earth there. Okay, I have a really important question. What continent do we live on? What continent? Go ahead. Good. So if we're in North America, what hemisphere are we? Are we the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere? Everybody. Northern. northern. Nice. And there's one thing that's really important too about our earth. And it looks like this. Everybody. Access. So it is turned on its axis, that imaginary line. And here we have the northern hemisphere because you can see this green is representing our North America. So, Bentley, I'm going to need my son now. There you go. You're going to turn it on. Go ahead and push it. There you go. So if you have the sun shining on the part that is tilted towards the sun, what do you think the northern hemisphere that is tilted towards the sun is experiencing? Warmer temperature? or colder temperature, CJ? Warmer, which tells me it's probably what season? Around summer. Ooh, good, around summertime and it's revolution. So now, Camille, I'm gonna have you start to revolve the earth. You can follow me with it, revolving, revolving, revolving. And Bentley, you're still gonna go ahead and turn that sun this way now because we know our sun is a big ball so it would be shining in all directions. And you can face forward for me, love. There we go. And tilt it just like this, how it was when we started to now. And now our northern hemisphere is tilted what? Towards or away from the sun? Away. Oh, it's away when it got this far in its revolution. So that tells me everybody, it's experiencing hotter or colder weather? Colder, colder weather, which tells me it's probably what season? Winter. Winter. Kiss your brains. Thank you, my brave volunteers. Give it up for my brave volunteers. Thank you, sir. Very nice job. Alrighty, and I do have one more thing that requires everybody. So we talked a lot about our rotating. We talked a lot about our revolving. Hmm, we haven't hit too much on our moon phases yet. So I'm going to have table six. You guys can jump up with table five because I only have five of these things. So these guys are pretty old, remember. Could something pop off? Yeah, it could. No big deal. You're going to put it right back on, but you're going to work extra hard to make sure that nothing does fly off, right? Because they are old and delicate. 
So the first thing I need you to do when you get it is to make sure that the side that is lit up is facing the sun because if the sun is shining on that side of the moon, it's going to be lit up. When you put it on your head, because we have done it before, remember, if you get little pieces of styrofoam, will it come out? Yeah. yeah, you just shake it out. It'll come out. No big deal. Okay? And as you are waiting, or if you have used it and you're waiting now to do whatever's coming next, I want you to write in your notebook your four moon phases and what facts you know about your moon phases. So, so you see how our moon, the side that's lit up, is facing the sun? Why is that? What is the sun doing? Why, um, the sun. Yeah, it's shining on that side of the moon, depending on where it's at in its revolution. Yeah. <laughs> it's I gotta deal with it. The moon is kind of big. So how many circles? Four? Four? Yeah, you can put it right there. That's okay. I love everything that we have so far. I do want to look at this one. If you are looking from Earth, mm -mm -mm. And the sun's over here. Which side's gonna be lit up? Good catch, good catch. And then your labels are spot on. You see the left side's lit up, so you know that it is what? That's good. Nice, nice, good, good catch. Alrighty, what do you say we go over these real quick? Okay, so if you have your board at your table, you can check it out at your table, but I'm also going to throw it up here. Mm -mm -mm. We've got one already ready for us, but I want to have one with you guys. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit harder. So I saw a lot of us drawing our diagram like we've seen in the past with our sun on this side. What if I put my sun over here? Huh. Okay, so now, if my sun is shining from this direction, which side of my moon is going to be lit up? Right. The left side or the right side? Right. The right side, good. Because that sunlight is shining on that right side. Okay, so if we are planet Earth right here in the middle, and we are looking at the big moon in the sky and it looks like a big dark moon because the sunlight is shining on that back side of it what type of moon will i have summer hmm, it's big and dark it's going to be a what new moon good but then on the opposite side hmm if i'm looking at my moon and it's big and bright and it kind of reminds me of a werewolf moon it's going to be what helena a full moon. Now this is what's tricky because we get in this habit of putting the sun on this side. So then we already know the order. But I put the sun on this side now. So we have to really think. If you are Earth and you're looking at this moon and the left side is lit up. Hmm, left side lit up. It must be a what, CJ? Last quarter. Good job which tells me process of elimination. I have one more left, everybody. First quarter. Very nice job. Alrighty, friends. We appreciate you coming in for our Earth, Moon, and Sun lesson. We're gonna continue learning about the solar system now, but we hope that you all have a great rest of your school year. Go, go!